So, uh, welcome to Wits Biochemistry again, and now we will be discussing glyoxylate cycle. Now, glyoxylate cycle is a, it's a variation of TCA cycle or citric acid cycle, and uh, this uh, primarily occurs in plants and some microorganisms as well as in nematodes. And now, and uh, in these organisms, uh, acetyl coenzyme is converted to malate, and the malate uh, gets converted to to uh, oxaloacetate and oxaloacetate as we know it's a it's a substrate for gluconeogenesis so malate can be uh, used for the synthesis of glucose through oxaloacetate so so basically glyoxylate cycle is a is a uh, anabolic metabolic process uh, in plants the cycle occurs in glyoxysomes as we know glyoxysomes are a specialized organi uh, organelle uh, so it's a specialized uh, peroxisome and um, in plants uh, the this particular cycle is especially important in um, germinating seeds. So, because seeds can store fatty acids or fats in them, lipids are the best form of stored energy, as we know. So, plants, uh, especially in germinating seeds, uh, this cycle is, is very significant. And uh, in microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, uh, in the absence of glucose, they can uh, use fats or fatty acids as carbon source so as to synthesize glucose through gluconeogenesis. The cycle is believed to be completely absent in animals except uh, for nematodes. Now, the key enzymes involved here in the TCA cycle are isocitrate lyase and malate synthase as we can, uh, we will be seeing. Uh, this is a TCA cycle. No, let us see how a glyoxylate cycle uh, works. So this is the usual TCA cycle here, TCA cycle. Now in TCA cycle, uh, the acetyl consume combines with oxaloacetate uh, to give rise to 6-carbon citrate, then isocitrate, and then alpha ketoglutarate and then succinyl consume. But here in usual uh, TCA cycle, what happens is that one carbon is lost here in the form of carbon dioxide, another carbon uh, acts again in the form of carbon dioxide to give succinyl consume, which is a 4-carbon compound. Then succinate, fumarate, malate, and back to oxaloacetate, F4 carbon compound. Now, in, you, uh, in, in TCA cycle, the acetyl consume, whether it is formed from uh, acet fatty acid breakdown or glucose breakdown, the, the acetate po portion, this acetate portion of acetyl consume is lost in the form of uh, carbon dioxide here. Two carbons are lost in the form of carbon dioxide here. So, this cannot be utilized also. So, uh, what uh, the germinating seeds as well as some of these organisms, some of those organisms which I mentioned earlier, uh, do is that they follow glyoxylate cycle. Now, glyoxylate cycle here, the isocitrate gives rise to, first of all, glyoxylate and succinate. This is two carbon. This is 4 carbon. Succinate can go on with the TC cycle. Now, glyoxylate accepts another molecule of uh, acetyl consume. Acetyl consume to give uh, a molecule of malate. So, what happens here is that two molecules of acetyl consume uh, give rise to uh, a malate, which is a 4 carbon compound. And the key enzymes involved here are. Uh, this step is catalyzed by isocitrate lyase, isocitrate lyase, and this step is catalyzed by malate synthase. Synthase. So this is how these two carbons and these steps are saved or avoided in uh, glyoxylate cycle. So uh, this is the glyoxylate cycle. These two precious carbons are saved um, by following glyoxylate cycle and the succinate formed here from isocitrate that can also go through the rest of the TCA cycle. So uh, finally two malate molecules are produced and both of them can be used for the synthesis of oxaloacetate and for the further synthesis of glucose from oxaloacetate uh, through gluconeogenesis. Now just to recap, um, glyoxylate, glyoxylate cycle actually utilizes three of the total five enzymes used in TSI cycle but there are two key enzymes one is uh, isocitrate lyase we saw what it does and another one is malate synthase we saw that also um, so in, in this this cycle is especially important in uh, germinating seeds because germinating seeds can uh, 
uh, store oil and fat uh, lipids because lipids are the best form of storage energy they can be this lipid can be used for the synthesis of uh, glucose the energy need during germination of seeds can be met um, by following this glyoxylate cycle thank you